Hello, my name is Roxana. I'm an application engineer at Materialize, and today I'm going to show you how to create guides using our automatic tools. In this tutorial, you will discover how to create a base and how to use our automatic tools to create cut slots, flanges, and guiding tubes. The first step here is to mark the surface where we would like our guide to fit using the wave brush tool under the mark menu. Here I'm going to mark the triangles. After the triangles have been marked, I'm going to smooth the borders using the smooth border tool. Then under the design menu, I'm going to select create base tool, select the surface that I have marked and click apply to create the base. Then I'm going to use the flange tool to create one flange using the distal base as my base and the distal osteotomy plane as my entity. And then clicking apply. Now we have created the flange on our base. Now I'm going to use the Boolean union to connect my base to the flange that I have created. To make sure that this guide fits perfectly on the tibia, I'm going to use the Boolean subtract and I'm going to subtract this guide base from my tibia. It can happen that there are some parts which will not be of interest for us, which can be removed by marking them and then pressing delete. Then I'm going to use the cut tool to cut the upper part of the base using the uh, distal osteotomy as my cutting entity. Now I'm going to have two parts in my object tree as a result, and the upper part, which is of no interest for us anymore, can be removed. Under the finish menu, I'm going to use the trim tool to trim the sides of the flange to make sure uh, that I will have a perfect fit on my tibia. As a result, I'm going to have some sharp edges, which can be softened using the fillet tool. Select the surface fin as the entity with a radius of three millimeters. In the next step, we're going to create some guiding tubes on the surface of our guide base using the guiding tube tool. By selecting a point on the surface of the base, the guiding tubes will automatically be created. And as a result, we're going to have the inner cylinders and outer cylinders in our object tree. Using the Boolean union, we're going to create our base with the outer cylinders. And using the Boolean subtract, we're going to subtract the inner cylinders from our base. And this is the final result for our distal guide base. For our second guide, we're going to mark above the proximal plane, just as we have done before. After the triangles have been marked, we're going to smooth the borders using smooth border tool. Then we're going to create the base for our guide using the Create Base tool under the Design menu. And we're going to use the Cut Slot tool to create a cut slot on the surface of the space. As entity, we're going to choose the proximal osteotomy. The cut slot can also interactively be moved around just to make sure that it fits perfectly on our base. And we are also going to change the values for the width and height to make sure that it's a perfect fit for the base that we have created. Now I'm going to make sure that the cut slot fits perfectly on the surface of my base by moving it around interactively before clicking on apply. Apply. 
After I'm happy with the position, I can click on apply. And as a result, I'm going to have two new objects in my object tree, the cut profile and the cut slot. In the next step, I'm going to use the Boolean union to connect my base with the cut slot that I have created. And then I'm going to subtract the cut profile from my base. And then I will have the final result in my object tree. Guiding tubes can also be created on the second uh, guide base that I just showed you, as it was shown before for the distal guide base. And this will be the final result. I hope you enjoyed watching this video.